If you're looking to do some electronic repairs and uh, you want to start doing it and you have no electronic knowledge, don't worry about it. If you know what to look for, you can repair mostly everything. Except this. Now, if you look at this board, they put some sort of putty all over the components so that you cannot get to them. They don't want you to fix them. They want you to keep them buying. But if you look at this uh, furnace control board, you can actually see the bad parts. And all you got to do is replace them. When you look at this board on the circuit side, you can actually see the parts that had been overheating. And that's where your problem always comes from. You look on the other side, you also see some resistors that are pretty bad and overheated. One of the other things to look for is to always look for circuits like this. Uh, for broken circuits and basically connect one wire from one end to the other end completing the circuit and that should do the repair always look for a bulge uh, capacitors if this is kind of like sticking up loaded they're open completely open that means they have already they've already leaked and uh, they need replacement they're no longer good that also applies to smaller capacitors now on this control board, you have these relays and these relays actually work exactly like a contact as you may think. Now this is a little different, even though the relay may be okay, the winding may be okay and it actually activates, but the contacts always get burned out after time. Or what you can always do is just remove this cover, clean the contacts with sandpaper and uh, normally it works all over again. Another situation may be that you may not have power to the control board and for that you may need to check your uh, power transformer uh, which is a 24 volt transformer coming to your uh, control board and that should be a 24 volt. Of course that always depends on the type of board and equipment that you are working on but then, then again never forget about checking the fuses either because sometimes it's just a simple fuse that you got to replace. And normally that happens on microwaves. So on microwaves, fuses go out and the uh, magnetron needs to be replaced when it's no longer heating. Have some wire, have your solder, and most important, have your voltage meter. And of course, having one of these is very useful unless you have a vision like Superman. <laughs>